What's up guys, it's Chase from Tested Workshop and in this video we're going to build the bobbin for a Telecaster Bridge pickup. I'm not going to wind it in this video, I'm basically going to get it to the point of winding, maybe just a few things I got left to do on it before I wind it. And I'm going to do that in the next video. So this will be video one of two on, on, on this, this whole thing. Um, one of the things I've figured out on this is I'm not going to use, I'm not using um, fiberboard, I'm going to use walnut for this guitar, for this pickup. Um, and one thing I found out real quick was is how uh, finicky it is trying to build a pickup out of wood. Now, when you use fiberboard, you can basically just pound a magnet into this th to, into the hose, and you, you don't have to worry about it splitting. It's just gonna it's gonna go right in. When using wood, if the if the magnet's too big for the hole, once you get them all dri driven in there, it'll split. And you'll see here in a little bit of me splitting these things. So I've made some mistakes in this video and I didn't edit them out so you get to watch them. Um, so that pickup in that one, the bridge pickup in that guitar right there, um, I was just like you guys when I started building pickups. I had no idea how many windings to put on the pickup to get what sound. So on that one I just decided hey I'm gonna start with a high number and I started with 9750 windings on there and the pickups way bright. To me, to my, for my liking it's really bright and it's almost way too bright. So I'm thinking with this pickup I'm going to step that down to about 7500 windings and see how that sounds. That one has Alnico 5 magnets in it. This one's going to have Alnico 5 magnets in it. Uh, the differences are that one's got a uh, south polarity on the bridge. This one's going to have a north polarity. Um, like I said the windings are going to be different. I'm not going to do a back plate on this one just to see if that what that actually does if it changes up anything or makes anything different on there and um, I haven't really decided to know how I'm going to do it without one yet because the back plate on the bridge is actually what um, is actually what uh, grounds the bridge on the the uh, Telecaster so I might have to do something I don't know I don't know how I would get away from not having to do that and in the first part of this video you're going to see me um, building some of these guys here. I actually I think I just built one and um, what I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out exactly what the right size hole I need to make with the CNC machine to get um, the magnet in there tight but not split the uh, the uh, flat work because you're good to see. Like I said, you're good to see here in just a little bit of what all I've done. So guys, if you have any questions or comments and especially any suggestions of anything I've, I'm doing here that's either wrong right or I could do better please put them in the comments I'm not gonna I'm not I take criticism very well and I'm learning here and we're all learning together and we all need to help each other that's my biggest thing on this whole doing this whole channel and everything is we all help each other I need your help just as much as you need mine guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you do give me a like if you like it please subscribe thanks for watching guys Alright, so here's the the first test piece that I've made. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna I'm gonna use probably use um, walnut instead of this. I'm just wanting to make see if, if I can get these things to fit in here good. Um, I'm gonna have to pound them in a little bit, and I don't wanna I don't want them to be too tight, but I don't want them to be too loose either. So, I mean, that's kind of the the deal. Now I've I've taken the um, I've got a sander outside that I've taken, and I've kind of wore a um, ledge there so it's just not a sharp piece going in there because a lot of times if you try to drive this in it'll push the wood down and basically cut it and it'll make them all centered so i've been kind of experimenting with um what how much i can i can do that with uh this is actually drilled out to um 0.19 um, i'm gonna try to use this other one i got here the biggest problem with these is, is trying to hold this dang thing when you're trying to hammer it and trying to hold it straight. So I'm just going to use this other piece I've got here to kind of center it up and then just hopefully just be able to tap it down in there. Then hopefully I can just work this one off here like so. And that held in there pretty good. You can see on the back. That's the 0.19, uh, which is this size right here, hole. 
So that's probably what I'm gonna go with. And as you can tell here, I didn't cut, I, I didn't have the big enough piece to cut it. So when I cut my walnut, I did this kind of to experiment with to make sure that um, the wood was gonna be the right size and everything. As you can tell here, it's, it's kind of too small. And this is in there pretty tight. I think a little epoxy in there might, will, will help. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna cut out some uh, pieces of wood this size to out of walnut so we can do that. I'm gonna give you a thickness right quick on this guy. 0 0.0835 is the thickness on this guy here. I basically just cut a little block. Uh, I cut a little block with the uh, miter saw over there. And I think I'm just going to center this up and I can get a lot of different uh, blocks out of this one piece, I hope. So, here we go. Okay, so I've got... we got the blocks now, so I'm going to cut these to thickness. I might leave this one separate here in a minute, but I'm going to cut these to the thickness that I need for the... guy here. Close. So I'm going to cut them this way. Let's make sure my table's big enough. Um, it's always scary as a crap out of me running them like this, but uh, this is really the only way I can do it. Roll, lower this thing down just to here. I'm going to try to run it just like that. There's just two pieces. I got the two pieces cut out here. One of them did really well. This one got a little angle, so I might have to recut one of these for that. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut the uh, bottom uh, bobbin off of this one. And uh, I'm just gonna use some painter's tape. Use some painter's tape. And some super glue. Got this on there. I'm going to go to zero now. There's my Z. Put that back on. Set that. Z. Head up. And let's go to Z. Okay. Okay. I just feel like the walnut looks better than the uh, other, but there's our final bottom bottom bobbin. Now we gotta do is make a top bobbin. All right, I just cut out two more of these guys, and these turned out pretty good. They're pretty good right thicknesses for all of them. So now we're gonna do the top bobbin. Um, let's do the same thing we just did, except we're gonna use to make the top bobbin. And there's our top bobbin. Here we go. There we go. There's our top bobbin. Okay, so we got our two pieces here. Now I'm just gonna kind of clean them up with some sandpaper. Um, I definitely wanna try to get this burn mark off of this. Um, I might not be able to do it with you watching like this, but 
Just take my sandpaper and hit the edges. Try to clean it up a little bit. Looks pretty good. I think it'll be all right once I put some stain on it. So there's that. I believe these are gonna fit in there really nice. What I wanna do is I'm gonna take these magnets all six of them and I'm just gonna basically do the same thing I did to the other one right there and that's just put them take them and spin them against the grinder and kind of put a work this sharp edge down to more of a fillet right there okay so I've went outside and I've basically contoured or not contoured I guess I guess you could call it you would call it a shave this sharp edge over to where it's more of a, a rounded on all sides of these. And it's very simple to do. You just put it in the grinder, hold an angle on it, and just spin it in your finger, and it'll it'll do it. And that might not be the best way to do it, but it's the way I did it. So it is what it is. I'm going to check make sure that these magnets don't already have some polarity to them. So, yeah, they do. This one's obviously north there. Let's see what this one is. Kind of leaning north, south, so we'll put that one up that way. That one's definitely south, north there. Oops. They don't want to go together. Let's try this one, south, north. Let's try this one, north. Well, crap. And let's try this one. We'll do the north up. So let's get this guy here. Make sure it's north. It is. Okay. Something as simple as this is to hold this thing in here is pretty nice. Fit pretty good. It's north. It's weak north, but it's north. here you can change the polarity on this but I, I, these things have been sitting for so long that I just figure go with the polarity that's already kind of they've had for a while yep okay all right now here's the hardest part getting this dang thing right here on there Now this, you just gotta kinda work them all in. Oh, there it went. Oh no! Disaster. Well. Guess what I get to do? Make another one of these. Boo. But I can use this one to help align it. I can use these to align this before I put the top on, maybe. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make another one of these pieces here, this top piece, and uh, do that. But as far as everything else, it turned, it turned out pretty good. I pushed one of them a little farther in there than I wanted to. But it is what is the back. It's looking pretty good. 
all the pieces, they're all facing north. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so here's day two, try two, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I'm, I just kind of got this broken uh, flat work, top flat work, uh, just put on here to maybe help me outline this. And I built another uh, top piece here. So I'm gonna try this again. And maybe this one will do better than the last one. Failure two. Oh my gosh. Okay. I've got to do something different here. I think I'm going to have to make these. I'm going to have to change it in Fusion 360 and make these holes bigger on the top bobbin. So I just can't get this thing together without cracking it. <clears throat> so I'm going to change it. Uh, I'm going to change the, uh, the file in uh, Fusion 360 to, I'm going to go with the, the bigger one that I made on these guys here, which is a 0.192, because they're a little tight. These are actually, the thickness of these are 0.192. So I'm trying to make these holes a little bit smaller for them to fit in there tight. So I'm going to go in there and change that up and make one of these with that size hole in it. So stand by. Well, all right, here's the third one. I think I want to try to set it down like that and do it, maybe. I don't know. Definitely going in there better. All right, well, that's turning out pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't get these things dro driven all the way in here. I think one of the things I was doing more than anything, really, was when I was driving this top bobbin on, I think I was not hitting this square. And so I was breaking it with the hammer itself pretty much. Looks pretty good, but this until definitely this side goes, goes down over here. Okay, so I kind of got this contraption set up here. I don't know how well this is going to work. I'm just basically holding the magnets. I'm just scared that if I keep pounding on this thing, I'm going to eventually break this uh, bottom bobbin again. So I'm just doing this to kind of where I can kind of level these guys back out on the bottom and hopefully straighten the top up. That worked. I think that worked pretty good, actually. Now I need to do the same to the top. As you can tell here, the top is a little bit off, so let's flip it over and do the top. So this one right here is sticking out just a little bit more than the others. Hoping you can see that. Might be hard to see on the screen, but anyways. So I'm gonna hammer that down a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. I still gotta drill the hole here and two holes here. Well, there it is. Now I'm gonna take it and we're gonna dip it in some lacquer. <sighs> Make sure it's good and clean first. But that'll be the next step. And then when, once that gets done, I'll probably go ahead and drill these holes for the mount and then drill the hose for the um, eyelets for the wire to go here. So then the next video, all we have to do is put windings on this bad boy. So we'll get the lacquer. All right, so here's the guitar lacquer. Gloss guitar lacquer. All I'm gonna do here, I'm going to, first of all, tie this thing up here. 
Just got a guitar string. Hopefully that'll work good enough. Open this highly smelly stuff up. Hoping you can see this. I'm just going to slowly dip her in there. Let's let it sit in there for maybe a minute or so and let that wood soak up a lot of that lacquer. Thing has got a bunch of bubbles coming out of it. <clears throat> it's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see them or not. I hope you can in the video. There's like a stream of them right there coming up out of the well, right next to one of the hose for the magnet. see what it looks like here okay I'm gonna take this out here and hang it up then I'll get the camera and bring it out there where you can see it better there it is I'm gonna let this thing dry for a while it's definitely a lot better than the fiber one I done on the bridge the first time. So hopefully everything will turn out good on it. Well, all right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, like I said, this will be part one of probably a, a two two videos, and um, this is the actual final piece I've got done here. So it's turned out really well. It turned out a lot nicer than I thought it would. I think the the walnut looks really unique on on there. And um, as you can see, I've got one little spot right here that I'm going to have to kind of smooth out to um, before we wind and everything. In the next video, I'm going to drill the hose here for the, uh, um, the mounts, and then I'm going to drill the hose for the eyelets. And hopefully all that will go well, just as well as this did, other than breaking the two top pieces. But um, anyways, and also too, I'm probably just going to end up building a back plate for this one too, because the more and more I think about it, the harder it's going to be to... Um, fix something on here to mount this thing in the first place so it'd be easy just to build a back plate and throw it on here so that's what i'm wanted to end up doing probably guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give me a like if you like it please subscribe thanks for watching guys